Hi, I'm Danielle Valiente with Atmosphere Salon and our question is what can go wrong with a perm? There's many things that can go wrong with a perm if not done correctly. Some examples are the correct chemical lotion strength. If the proper lotion isn't chosen, you can definitely end up with results you weren't looking for. Another example is not using the right size rod for the length of hair. If the hair does not wrap around the rod at least two and a half times, you might not get the results you were looking for. Third, over-processing or under-processing the hair. Those two things can be key factors as well in the perm's results. And fourth, the expert skill of the hairdresser that's applying the perm. If they're not well educated in perming, you can definitely see that in the results of the perm. Another thing is whether the hair has been previously chemically treated, whether colored, straightened, or permed, those three things could have an effect on the perm as well. Also the texture of the hair. Some textures of hair are permed better than other textures. Another, another item would be incorrect hair tension when the rollers are being applied. And then finally, if the perm solution is not completely rinsed from the hair, that can also have an effect on something that could go wrong with the perm. So there's a bunch of different things to think about when perming hair because all of those can have an effect on the final result of the perm.